Welcome back here to What's Cooking Today, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Al Michaels had lunch with him recently. He was honored at a luncheon, and um, uh, he, for, he was, I guess, uh, with, uh, the, uh, the, with the sit steady reds for a drink of water for a while. He was their announcer. Did you know that? No, I did not, but are you getting a back massage right now? No. <laughs> I would like to get a back massage. <laughs> it sounds like there's like some kind of back massage machine in the background or something. One of those automated uh, seat cushions or something. I would love to have a back <laughs> okay, ma- I would sorry. love to have an automated chair. Wouldn't that be great to do this show with a nice automated seat cushion? You and I need upgrades. I'm sorry. Please continue with your story. Al Michaels. So anyway, so Al Michaels was, uh, he was um, uh, the announcer for the Cincinnati Reds. Johnny Bench there in that yeah. uh, commercial. And so he was just there for a drink of water, but he was the announcer. There. I didn't realize that. Oh. And uh, and to finish my Starbucks story, my brother called in. They were supposed to contact him back because you know if it's a recall, I want to be the first ones to to yeah. report it for you, Break whatever. Story, but it was yeah. it was those uh, biscuits, you know, the sausage oh. and the. Uh, and the egg and everything, oh, and it's all sealed. Oh, boy. They only break the seal when they go to heat it. Some of the stuff they keep in there when they heat it. So uh, he said he didn't think that it was anything they did at the uh, local Starbucks, but maybe it was in the package. I said, well, do you, he talked to the manager. That, or he was going to talk to the manager. They're supposed to call him back. We'll see. But, I mean, they got, uh, you know, you think sometimes you got the flu or whatever, but three people came down at the very same time with it. The dog wouldn't eat it. and uh, That's how you know right there. Once you get three family members all sick on the same at day. At the very know, same yeah. moment, yeah. yeah. You know it's something. I See, I don't know that. I would just think that it is that way. But uh, Grandma in the family on his side said, hey, not all three of you aren't going to go and get sick at one time. You should call back. So anyway, there you go. And the, oh, the key, he said, when he thought back, is he threw a little piece to the dog, and the dog sort of spit it out. <laughs> oh, so oh. if the dog's not going to eat it. The litmus test, yeah. Yeah. I said, did it smell okay? I said, yeah, it was all right and everything. Anyway, we bring you all these stories on CRN, the Contamination Radio Network. <laughs> Let you know what's going on. Where are we headed here, Eric Hines? Right now on the line, Michael, we do have him. Our man, Larry Lipson, with the Affordable Wine Report, broadcasting live from the Lipson Institute of Advanced Wine Studies. Larry, welcome to our show, my friend. Hey, nice being with you. Hey, 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 hey. It's lovely. Uh, there's, no, it's not so lovely here in Florida, but... Um, what do you mean? Weather's been, weather's been so, so somewhat overcast and raining, and but we get some tennis in in the morning, you know. You are, I'm telling you, everybody knows about you. Catherine Jarvis, who does a lot of PR work in the wine industry, said to say hello to you. Uh, everybody wants to say hi to Larry. They, you've disappeared, and it was when you retired from the Los Angeles Daily News after uh, somewhat 50 years of being the uh, the uh, restaurant and wine uh, reporter expert there at the Los Angeles Daily News, and then you and Lillian went into exile there in Costa Rica that people just say, I, I remember he was carried off to Costa Rica. I said, I know, he served his time there. He, uh, you know, they lived in a couple of houses, and then uh, uh, after they built the Lipson Institute underground there in Costa Rica, and uh, for the first time in the history of Costa Rica, they had to actually come up with a National Guard to go ahead and watch over Larry and Lillian. They escaped prior to the Guard coming up and floated to what is somewhere in southern Florida, where it is now overcast and rainy. And you should not give out information like this, Larry. People are going to be able to target in on where the new Lipson Institute is, for gosh sakes. <laughs> Stay underground. Give us wines under twenty dollars. And so, anyway, that's the story. What do you got for us, Larry? Oh, I got some interesting wines today uh, um, from Spain, from uh, California, of course. And uh, uh, let's see, where else do I? Uh, California, I guess, in Spain. That's about it. Let's start out with some. I got all reds except for one. Let's start out with the. This one's called Butternut Rosé. Oh. Butter, hmm, very nice looking uh, presentation of a uh, of a rosé wine. And you know, I don't know. Uh, years ago, when I first started drinking wines, I used to drink a lot of uh, that uh, Provence uh, rosé. You know. Yeah. Uh, and and um, and then sort of went away from rosés. And uh, I don't know. In my older age now, I like a rosé every so often, uh, especially in the warm weather that we have the humid the humid air down here in florida um rosé is a nice wine to have of course this time of year is the picnics and this is a nice one uh, we bought it um at publix it was on sale two two bottles for 14.99 so that's what 750 a bottle right yeah at, at Publix, they do a lot of two for ones there, and you can really pick up some good wines uh, at that price. This I gave seven point five points. It's a fifty fifty percent 
50% Syrup, 50% Tempranillo Great Blend. 2016 is the vintage, and it actually won a gold medal 2017 this year by the Texum International Wine Awards, wherever that is. Okay, so this is the nice dry, crisp uh, rosé is what you're saying, not one of those sweet ones. This is the new dry style, right? It is. It's got, uh, you know, on the back it says here, scents of watermelon, citrus, and pale florals fill the air. Uh, you know, strawberry and grapefruit uh, and, tw- and all that stuff. First, anyway, day, first day of summer, Larry, and so this is a great patio wine. I know you got the overcast there, but this one will uh, give you a good time all summer long. Yeah, this is this is a nice wine. If you can find it, let's see, uh, it averages around $14 around the country, so that's about the right price normally. But we spent, uh, we got it for half price, so Very we good. can't beat that. Yeah. So that's the Butternut Rosé 2016. It's a 50-50 blend of uh, Syrah and Tempranillo. Larry gives it a 7.5, averages around 14 bucks. He got two for 14.99. That's good. What else you got? Okay. I am, um, Lillian made a, a couple of buys here from Whole Foods Market. Oh. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with them. Yeah. They've just been just by Amazon. Yeah, but Amazon owns them now, so watch out. <laughs> Everything coming to you in a, you know, in a in a bucket these days, shipped right to your home. I'm sure. No, I'm kidding. They're supposed to all be still the same. So, what do they find at Am- at what do they find at the Whole Foods or AmazonFoods dot com? This one was um, this was a nine ninety nine. Um, it's a rich, well structured Cabernet. It's called One Hope. Cabernet Sauvignon, California, 2015. It's in a dark uh, Bordeaux bottle with uh, the big the words, uh, capital letters, One Hope. Um, and at the, on the back it says, a collaboration with Rob Mondavi Jr. And evidently it's some sort of a philanthropic organization uh, by business people up in Napa that produces this. And... Um, it's a very nice wine. It has a nice finish to it. Uh, like I said, well structured, um, and only uh, nine ninety nine. Um, I I gave it uh, what I give it eight points. So wow, eight uh, points. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon twenty fifteen. It's called One Hope, and it's made in yeah. Cal- is a California a blend of California wine. So it is made in California. And you're saying it's a collaboration with Robert Mondavi Jr. Yeah. So Robert yep. Mondavi Jr. is actually making the wine? I guess he must have provided the wines, these wines, because I looked up uh, this uh, One Hope organization, and it's like, like a philanthropic uh, business people uh, doing things in wine and other stuff. And, Interesting. Uh, very nice. All right. Maybe some charity involved, as you never can tell. It's worth a glass <laughs> of wine, raising money. If, if it is possible, I don't know. Larry, can you hang on with us? We're up against a break here. Larry Lipson is here from the Lipson Institute for Advanced Wine Studies somewhere in Southern Florida. Wines under $20. We've got two good ones already. The Butternut Rosé 2016 and One Hope Cabernet Sauvignon 2015. Straight ahead, we continue right here on the Collaboration Radio Network, CRN. Greta is a drill instructor. On your feet and negotiate this obstacle. Yes, ma'am. When it comes to training lean, mean, fighting machines, she doesn't mess around. I do not have all day, people. But in her free time, Greta's an amazing poet, and she knows it. The green grass, it whispers to me like an ancient firefly. Look at her throw those verses with confidence. But when it comes to getting a mortgage, Greta's less confident. Uh, a little help here? Fortunately for Greta, there's Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. It's simple, so she can understand the details and know she's getting the right mortgage. My confidence. It's returned like a jealous lover on a rainy night. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. Go to rocketmortgage.com today. Equal housing lender, licensed in all 50 states. And MLSConsumeraccess.org number 3030. Do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call MyFlightSearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call MyFlightSearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. 
What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's to see the memorabilia of movie stars and theatrical magic right in downtown Fullerton, California. See the art of the masters, an Italian town square complete with storefronts of old Italian butchers and cheesemongers, fruit and wine vendors, seamstresses showing their wares, fairy lights from cathedral ceilings, and our ancestors smiling down at you from the family love altar. The romance of Romeo and Juliet, and find the mystical room of the moon. And don't forget King Kong, Dracula, Frankenstein, and who knows what awaits you in the wine cellar. Enjoy the great food. We hand stuff our pastas, roll each and every tortellini, bake our own bread, make our own sauces fresh from our private stock of Sicilian family recipes. From pasta to seafood, chicken to award-winning pizzas, tiramisu flown in from Rome. If you can't find something on our menu to tempt you, you don't like Italian food. Try our Sunday brunch, just $18.95 and Angelo's and Vinci's has been named two years in a row. Best Italian restaurant in Orange County. Angelo's and Vinci's restaurant at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. Back here to What's Cooking Today, the nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. Michael Horn with Eric Hines. Eric? And, of course, we are continuing on now with Mr. Larry Lipson with the Affordable Wine Report. Larry, welcome back to our show, amigo. Hey, nice being back with you guys. Listen, um, um, Zinfandel. I like Zinfandel. Do you like Zinfandel? Love Zin. I love, especially wines under $20, Zin, Larry. Okay. Well, I've 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 had this uh, some time before, but not lately. And this is this is the Rancho Sabaco. Oh um, yeah, that's a good one. I like that, that one. That's uh, I believe owned by the Gallo people. Yes, it is. Oh yeah. Winemaker, uh, there's a guy named Eric, and he's uh, I've been there for years. Spells Zabaco for our audience, if you will. Okay, Z A B Z like a zebra, A B A C O, Zabaco. And then it's it's got a black label, uh, black uh, label with some gold and white and red print. This is the uh, Sonoma Heritage Vines. It's called Dry Creek Valley, Sonoma County. Now, when you see a wine that is uh, designated so intensely like this, is Dry Creek Valley, Sonoma County. It just doesn't say California, which means grapes could come from anywhere. This is. Uh, designated, uh, you know, you know exactly where you, what you're getting. Dry you Creek. Can... This is this is Zinfandel country. That's in uh, Sonoma County, Northern California. It's up there, uh, yeah. west of Healdsburg. You go on Dry Creek Road, and that whole valley is there. You got great Zin in that area. Yeah, and and, and this was um, uh, fourteen ninety nine, so it's well under twenty dollars. Wow, this is a bargain. It's a jammy, very jammy, typical. Um, uh, you know, Zinfandel, and it, I understand it has like 7% Petite Syrah with it. Uh, Wine Spectator gave it 88 points, and it's 14.8% alcohol. You can buy it in uh, Chicago for nine ninety nine. so um, that's pretty inexpensive. What'd you rate this wine? What'd you rate it? I gave this eight points. Yeah, this is a good one. If you see this on a wine list, you go ahead and order this one up. But this is a great, I'm telling you, this is a good wine. It's made by the Gallo people. And when they upgraded years ago and said, hey, we're going to start doing Gallo wines that people, you know, can do, appreciate as one-of-a-kind wines, this is the Zin that really came out. It's a whole separate division of their of their com company, and this is from Dry Creek Valley. This is good. 
Yeah, and I forgot to tell you, did I tell you, 2014 is the vintage, so you've got a couple of few years uh, age on it, too. That's so very that's... good. Good job okay. on that one, Larry. What else? I'll give you one that I, I didn't particularly like too much. <laughs> this was, um, uh, Lillian bought this, uh, was priced at $4.98 at Whole Foods. It's a non-vintage uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, California. Supposedly, uh, this wine won a bronze medal from the same uh, uh, international uh, wine thing, but this was in 2010. Um, it averages around $8 around the country. It's called Heart Hill Farms, H-A-R-T, and then capital H-I-L-L Farms. Um, I don't know where that is exactly. Well, let's see. It's in Livermore and Ripon. Um, 12.5%, so it's a low, low issue in alcohol. And, I, I mean, it's not. It's a drinkable wine, don't get me wrong. And um, some people will like it a lot because it's, uh, it, it, it doesn't have any forceful... Uh, uh, characteristics. Tannins are tannins are down in this, right? Weak tannins. Uh, I don't. Yeah, low tannins. I don't know. It's, it's sort of vague. It, it's got no vintage. It's got no striking characteristics. It's not very fruity. Now this would be fun to buy this one to see what Larry's talking about and compare. This would be good. What did you rate it? I gave it six points, and that's probably being generous. Yeah. <laughs> So three good ones and one bad. What can I tell you? <laughs> You're amazing, uh, Larry Lipson. So, uh, yeah, we'll check it. By the way, have you heard of wines from San Diego Wine Country? And I'm not talking to Mecula. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I guess there's some down there. Bunch I, of I, wineries along Highway 94. I've been and I've seen those, but I grabbed a book while I was there with these wineries at Highway 94, which are excellent wineries. And they said in 2009 they had 16 wineries. And now they've got over 115 wineries in the San Diego proper. That's Ramona Valley and also San Diego City and uh, all over that area. I'm going to have to get that book and start to checking out some of these wineries. A new wine country, a couple of AVAs down that area. Larry, thanks for being with us. We'll put these up on our website. Larry lives with us every Wednesday. Affordable wines under $20. Thank you, Larry. This is the.